today, the president continues to play to the most extreme factions of his political base. This is the president not just doubling, tripling, quadrupling down at this point on these culture wars. He says he's not a big He says that he's the least racist person you've ever met in your life. He's told me that like three right. or four times Great. in interviews. Great. Great. Yeah. We only know what you show. in the mainstream media for many, many years. And my goal as a mainstream media journalist, which is the goal of any mainstream media journalist, is not only to get the biggest story, but the more salacious story on a public figure, a celebrity, or a politician, the better the story is gonna do. And the better your story does, that's how you move your way up the ladder in the field of journalism. I had the privilege of covering Donald Trump. I covered him and his show, The Apprentice, and I also had the privilege to cover him and his family members. Over the years, I would get sometimes tips about President Trump that were salacious and they were good if they were true. Every tip that I looked into that had any dirt didn't turn out to be true. And I was bummed because that would have elevated my career. A big front page cover story on Donald Trump would have been a huge feather in my cap. So over the years covering President Trump, I wasn't really able to get any dirt on this man. I found the opposite about him to be true, which is that he's actually not a playboy billionaire. He's not a degenerate. He doesn't drink, he doesn't do alcohol, and he's actually a very good stand-up guy who has a big heart, who has done a lot of charity for many people over the years. We're living in unprecedented times right now, and I'm doing this video based off of an article I wrote in 2016 to remind the world who President Trump really is. Let me tell you what Donald Trump has done that's so unthinkable. President Trump will go through the newspaper and read stories about people who are dealing with tragedies. And he will clip out those stories and he will ask his secretary to find these people and he will help them. In 1986, Trump prevented the foreclosure of Annabelle Hill's family farm after her husband committed suicide. Trump was so moved by this story that he called the auction and stopped the sale of her home and gave her money so she wouldn't have to lose her home. Those are the kinds of things that Trump has a history of doing for many, many, many years. But the mainstream media will never tell you any of these stories. So how many times have we heard from the mainstream media that Trump's anti-Semitic and he hates Jews? Let me tell you a story about something he did for a sick little Orthodox Jewish boy. In 1988, a commercial airline refused to fly Andrew Ten, a sick Orthodox Jewish child with a rare illness, across the country to get medical care because he had to travel with an elaborate life support system. His parents contacted President Trump for help, and what did he do? He did not hesitate to send his plane to Los Angeles to take this little boy across the country to New York so he could get the medical care that he needed. In 2014, Trump gave $25,000 to Sergeant Andrew Tamaresi after he spent seven months in a Mexican jail for accidentally crossing the U.S.-Mexico border. President Barack Obama at the time couldn't even be bothered to make a phone call to get this troubled Marine released. It was President Trump that came to the rescue. Another horror story. In 2000, President Trump just happened to be watching the Maury Povich show. On this episode, it featured a girl that was suffering with brittle bone disease. Hi, Megan, my name's Donald, and you probably don't know me, but I was watching Maury's show the other day, and I must tell you, you really hit me right here. Uh, I think you are so beautiful, and both inside and out, I had a little something, a little gift that I gave to Maury, who's a friend of mine. He wants you and your mom to have a very Whoa. special check. And when we talk about Donald Trump, when we, he gives out checks, we're not talking chump change here. Hi, Donald. 
good. I really wanted to say thank you, thank you very much. Bye. I t told him that I thanked him, and he said, well, you're very welcome, and he told me to keep up the good work. Another great story that you'll never hear in the mainstream media happened in 1995. And I just want to know if the story is true or not. You were traveling to Atlantic City, and your limo broke down. Husband and wife pulled up behind, and the husband basically said, I'm going to help him out. So he helped out the limo, limousine, and a week later, the husband and wife received the deed to their house paid off. Was that a true story? It's so true. It's true. That's his <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that just goes to show what type of man he is, a great man. Here's another one. In 2016, Melissa Cunzen Young attended a Trump rally and tearfully thanked Trump for changing her life. She found herself struggling with an incurable illness, and during her darkest days, she explained that she received a handwritten letter from Trump telling her she's the bravest woman I know. She said that the opportunities that Trump gave her ultimately provided her son with a full ride to college. Did you know that in 1996, President Trump filed a lawsuit against the city of Palm Beach for discriminating against his Mar-a-Lago club because his club allowed Jews and blacks? Still think he's racist? Lynn Patton, a black female executive for the Trump Organization, released a statement in 2016 defending her boss against accusation that he's a racist and a bigot. She tearfully revealed how she struggled with substance abuse and addiction for years. Instead of kicking her to the curb, she said the Trump Organization and his entire family loyally stood by her through immensely difficult times. In 2008, American Idol superstar Jennifer Hudson's family members were tragically murdered in Chicago. When President Trump found out about this, he reached out to her and told her that he will put her up in his Trump Tower hotel and cover all the costs. And not only did he do that, he actually provided extra security for her and her family during this difficult time. I would encourage you to be very cautious of anything that the mainstream media puts out. Ask yourself, do you really think that President Trump is a racist? Do you really think that so many conservatives that support Trump are racist? Do you really think that race is that big of an issue? Or is this an issue that's being driven by the mainstream media to divide us? I encourage you to use discernment and listen to your heart and think about these things and ignore the fake news.